my beautiful souls how are you guys doing it is your girl Jalissa, and i'm coming to you here today with a new pick a card reading if you are a returning viewer welcome back my og so happy to have you if you are new welcome home so happy to have you here as well bless all right guys so today we are doing what messages are you meant to hear right now? So what messages does the universe want to give you at this moment? What is it that you need to hear? All right. So there's going to be three options for you to select from. Option one, you have the plunge. Okay. I am going to display the cards on the screen for you to stare at, for you to meditate over. Part two, you have mother of the salt waters. Pal three, you have the waterfall. Beautiful. And you know what's crazy? So I was like, I was filming the intro and then there was like some difficulty with my camera or whatever. So I was like, all right, let me go into the settings. Da -da -da -da, right. And then I'm like, okay, there's nothing wrong with the settings. So then I get back on the camera. I'm like, all right, so maybe it was just a moment, a glitch or whatever happened. Something weird happened there. And then when I sit back down to do the reading, now it's raining. So I feel like that's a sign in itself, all right? Because I chose this water deck for the pick of cards. And now it's raining a lot, okay? It's raining a whole lot of water. All right, so I feel like this is going to be a very emotional reading nonetheless, but a positive reading, a positive reading too, okay? Okay. So if you're new to bigger card reading, the way this works is that I'm going to list the timestamps down below in the description. Right below this video, there is a description. Drop it down. There will be a timestamp right next to the pound number you choose here today. Bless. All right, guys. Um, While you're meditating, Meditating over the cards, I'm going to give a quick PSA because the cards should be here now for you to stare at. Bless. Okay, PSA. So Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going live 8 p.m. Eastern time as of right now. If the time changes, I will let you know. Um, to do personal readings, if you want to submit or join the lives, you can. The information will be listed in a linked video in the description down below, okay? So you don't have to be present because I'm going to upload the live and you could just surf over to your number. After submitting your payment and email, emailing me your question and a screenshot of your payment, I will email you back a number. And so that's how you will identify your reading. This is to protect everybody's identity and also keep a system in flow. Bless. Um, guys, if you want, even if you're not getting a personal reading, come join me. All right. It'd be a vibe. The family be present. People be chatting in the comments. It, it's just a whole vibe. So come join me. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern time for a live. Bless. All right. So aside from that, guys, do know that right now I have 25% off my entire shop. Yes. So if you don't know, I have a manifestation shop. I make candles. I make mist. I make, um, what, what else do I make? I make soap. I make melts. I make so many things. <laughs> what else do I make? I make so many things and I sell so many things. So aside from the things that I make, I also sell products like crystals, bracelets, jewelry, decks. I have three decks available right now. Everything is 25% off i make everything i pack everything just for you bless so check out my shop and also check out my reviews i have five thousand five star reviews thank you guys so much for being there with your girl for real for real i just want to say thank you to any and everyone who has supported me in any way shape or form Thank you guys for the reviews and your testimonies. It means the world. It's not just helpful for the new customers to come, but it's also helpful because it's it's giving me confirmation of what I'm doing here with my energy, my alchemy, because I do put in a lot of energy and work into my products. They're, they are made with holy oil, essential oil, spiritual oils, and I also do Reiki over my products. So they're super powerful. <laughs> Bless. Honey, it is coming down, like out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, bless. That's a sign. All right, so that's that. That's who and that's what's up. Um, anything else? Anything else? If you want to be part of my monthly raffle, I hold a monthly raffle where I give away a free reading, 
along with a box full of goodies. So those goodies come from my shop, of course, and I choose intuitively what you need. Bless. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell button, and comment on one video per month, and you are in it to win it. Bless. Um, I do ship around the world for my international viewers. I ship all over the world. As long as my postal service here allows me to do that, I will. Okay? I'll ship to wherever you at. Bless. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's that. All right. So, part one, part two, part three. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what your message is because I feel like it's going to be intense. Like, the weather is intense right now and it just changed literally as I'm starting this pick a card. So, I feel like that's a sign in itself. Bless. Let's get it. Let's go. Hello there, how are you doing, Pal One? If you chose this card, then you are at your reading, which is plunge. All right, so let's get connected. Oh, it's just coming down, down. It's coming down, down where you can't even see through the window down, okay? Like, it's just pouring, all right? And if you look at this image, it looks like when she plunges in, it creates this wave effect, right? Okay, so it's giving, it's connected with you, Pa One, okay? And it's funny that I went to my water deck for this reading and it's just like, it hasn't, it hasn't poured like this since... I don't know when. I haven't seen a port like this in a, in a while. I mean, I just got here not so long ago, but anyway. All right, so let's connect to you. <laughs> let's get connected. All right, I'm gonna use my protection mist. This mist is available on my shop. I, other, I have other intentions as well, all right? So if you want one for yourself, I use this to protect us during this space and time so there's no interferences with me getting your reading, with me getting your messages, all right? Please come through, Holy Spirit, and help me channel this message here today for Pal One. Thank you. What is the angel number for Pal One here with me today? All right, your angel number is 722. Go on to your search engine, put in 722, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from Spirit. If you can share your message, whatever message you get, I appreciate that, and so does the fellow viewer as we all get different messages. All right, so with 722... That's giving me 11. That's a powerhouse number, sweetheart. All right, so it's giving not only you being in control and being a leader, but it's also giving me like a, a bounce back. It's giving me um, you mastering something. It's giving me, yeah. Pal one, you're mastering something. Whatever you're doing, whether that's your healing work, a project, a relationship, um, whatever it is you're doing or you're focused on right now, I'm getting you're mastering that. And you're not just becoming a leader. You're becoming a strong leader. Because I'm seeing somebody glowing, all right? So I don't know, honey, you glowing. The number 11 could be significant, November. Um, you could have a life path, number 11. That's powerful. Yeah. Check that out. All right. But with plunge coming out here is giving me you taking a deep dive. So your first message is that you shouldn't hold back. Don't hold back. It's time. Go for it. Dive in. Yeah. Because you're about to master something. And I'm not here to, um, you know, fluff you. I'm not here to, um, I don't know, sugarcoat anything or like gas you up. I'm here to give you the messages I got. And the message, your first message, strongest message is that, honey, you are leveling up like it's nobody's business. And you are about to like, it's you though. You're taking a dive into this water. So it's giving you doing something new. And the universe doesn't want you to hold back. Right now, don't hesitate. Right now, don't doubt yourself. Right now, be confident in what you're doing because you're actually going to get a better result than expected, all right? Something is going to turn out better than you expected. It's, it's, I'm just so happy for you. Bless. All right, so let's see what your overall vibe is with my music oracle deck, okay? This deck is available on my shop. Let's see. 
Holy Spirit, what's Paul 1's overall vibe? Overall energy? I'm hearing contigo, con, contigo, eh? That's Caro G. She's Colombian. Somebody could be... Mm. Somebody could be Latin American or Colombian, confirmation. All right, so something about with you. I'm getting partnerships. Like, people are gonna wanna partner up with you. People are gonna wanna connect with you. Yeah. Like, people wanna do something with you. It's something about you, specifically you, Pawan. Like, it's all about you, all right? You're, it's giving main character energy, center of attention, okay? We have unthinkable Alicia Keys, no contact. All right, so I'm getting, like, a lot of people wondering about you right now, Paul One. Like, where are you? What are you doing? Like, I'm getting people that you're not speaking to really pressed because you're pressure. <laughs> Paul One, you are pressure, and you got people pressed, especially if you're not communicating what you're doing. All right, when someone is taking a deep dive, water is emotion. This is someone going deep within to reach something, all right? So it's giving you taking a dive into the ocean and you're swimming really deep and you have a skill, you have an ability where you're able to like swim deeper than others. You have like gills or something, I don't know. You have a gift is what it's giving, Pawan. No cab, I'm not fluffing, for real. You have gills, you, you're able to breathe where other people can't breathe. You're able to do things other people can't do. And so, you're taking this personal dive by yourself. And when you're underwater, you can't really hear what people are saying. You're not really pressed or worried about what's going on around you unless, you know, you're looking for predators, okay? So you're on guard, but you're not listening to anything. You're more focused on this goal you have. And this is a deep situation. This is deep. And so you're swimming down, you're swimming down, and you have a goal to find something. Maybe you're looking for a gem. Maybe you're looking for a pearl. Maybe you're looking for a type of fish. There's something you're going down there for, and you're being called to go, and you're going and you're finding something. But to your surprise, you're finding more than you expect. It's like you're finding Atlantis, okay? You're finding a civilization, or you're finding something amazing. It's like you're discovering something. It's sweetie, what I'm seeing, it's crazy, all right? And everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know, Pawan, what are you doing? Where are you going? What, did, did Pawan just take a dive? Where did they go? And now, if we're talking about the ocean and someone's taking a dive into the ocean, you don't really see where they go unless you're diving with them. And this is a solo journey, so no one really knows what you're doing and where you're going and what you're gonna achieve, all right? But spiritually, you're being told to do it. So you feel in your intuition, I got to do this. So whatever it is you're hesitating to do or whatever it is you're like a little doubtful about doing or pursuing or going after, do it, okay? Because honey, you're being pushed for a reason. Take that dive, all right? But point is, you have a lot of people wondering about you because I'm getting you're not telling people what you're doing. I'm getting that you want someone to be honest with you. They haven't been honest with you. This is the unthinkable, you know, that's side no, but I'm getting you doing the unthinkable and you're ready, confirmation on my phone. Notifications on my phone are confirmation, point blank period. And then we have back of the deck, where the party at, jagged edge, time to go outside, all right? So where we at? We outside, we outside with it, okay? So listen, it's giving you making new connections, it's giving you, um, you know, stepping into unknown territories, is also giving you having a good time. So this is a vibe right here. Like you're putting the phone down and you're living life unapologetically. You're doing something here. And people are wondering, like, maybe you're not sharing what you're doing. Or yeah, like you got people like really mysterious. Like you're mysterious. You got people really wondering, like, hmm, what's Pa One doing? <laughs> what's Pa One doing? You got people watching, clocking, lurking curious all right so let's keep going all right because we could be all day in that energy okay so what else does Paul one need to hear thank you now i'm hot now i just got like a flash of like heat that hit me out of nowhere and my um my system is on air is on cold so i don't know where this heat came from that's weird i'm hot your energy is 
It's like you're gonna be hot, you're on fire. Alicia Keys, you got Alicia Keys. I love that song she has and I just heard it. This girl's on fire. This girl is on fire. All right, so people are gonna be like, damn, Paul One's on fire. I don't know what you're doing, but it's giving hot. Yes, you're pressure and people are pressed, okay? You're making them hot. All right, so what else Paul One needs to hear? <laughs> I love Alicia Keys. Somebody could be from Harlem or New York. I don't know where Jagged Edge is from, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments where the party at, all right? You got number three here, Follow the White Rabbit. It's giving Alice in Wonderland, all right? Follow the White Rabbit. Let's see what else you got here. Look at that, curiosity meets opportunity. I'm telling you. All right, hold on. I'm getting too hype. We have number 43, Manage to be Glad. All right, where the party at? Yeah, you're creating something here. And we have number 45, such a curious dream. Everything is about curiosity. Look at this. You have your first card, which is follow the white rabbit. It says curiosity meets opportunity. So you're curious about something, you're going to go after it. It's divine timing with the clock in the back. All right, and then here you have number 45, such a curious dream, okay? Okay. So it's giving you making a dream come true. You're curious whether or not you're able to do this. And I see you doing it, okay? Something about blue. Maybe your favorite color is blue. So maybe you have like blue highlights or blue hair. Or maybe you, you're going to put blue in your hair. This is for some, not all. Back of the deck, we have 36. Shine bright like a candle. It's giving Rihanna. Shine bright like a diamond. All right? You're very creative, Part one, point blank period. It's giving a lot of curiosity. So I see that you're curious and the universe is saying, honey, you're curious for a reason. All right. That spark has been um, set for a reason. Mm hmm. I'm on oh, that white rabbit, though. It's smiling. It's so cute. Mm. I'm getting an opportunity coming in for you, Paul one. You're creating your own happiness regardless of conditions. So like maybe something happened recently or maybe you've been going through one or maybe there's been obstacles or, you know, things in your way in regards to you being fully happy. But I'm getting you being curious about something. Taking this dive is giving, you know, how Alice. Not my car. There's a horn. Somebody's horns going off. Hmm. Let me make sure it's not my car. That don't sound like my car. But we gotta make sure. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, that wasn't my car. All right, but that's a sign, okay? Somebody's alarm just went off, so it's giving me a wake-up call. All right, so something, a challenge, a moment, a disappointment happened, and it woke you up. It woke you up. It got you curious on like, what's next? What am I going to do? I want to be happy. The goal is to be happy. We come here on this beautiful blue and green planet and our goal as a spirit, as a soul is to achieve happiness. All right. However you see happiness to be. So I'm getting you really curious and you creating your own happiness, regardless of the past, regardless of what you went through, regardless of what's going on around you. You're like, huh, everybody, Shh, I'm about to take this dive, all right? So Alice in Wonderland. Alice, she went in a little hole. I mean, I have to watch the movie again. I have, it's been a while. All right, but Alice, she went into some sort of rabbit hole, right? And it's giving that right here with the um, follow your white rabbit. Yeah, it's giving that. It's giving you going into the little hole, all right? And when she went into this hole, it brought her to this magical place where there's like, you know, rabbits that talk, that drink tea, you know, there's caterpillars that smoke hookah, all right? It's a magical place. Yeah, taking a dive, going into the hole. Yeah, so you're going to follow your instincts. The universe is guiding you right now basically to follow your intuition, follow those instincts, follow that gut feeling because I'm getting you being pulled to a new reality, a new world is giving a portal, is opening up for you, Paul One. And you're going to be shining like a candle. Uh, you're going to be shining like... And, and when you when we're talking about candles, and I make candles. I know all about candles. Okay, honey? Um, maybe you want to get one of my candles. It can help you with your journey. Um, 
I will get the road opener, by the way. But anyway, with you shining bright like a candle is giving shining bright like a diamond. Diamonds, and we were just talking about pressure and how you're pressure and people are pressed, right? So how are diamonds made? Through pressure. So I feel like something pressured you nonetheless, but it actually works out for you is what I'm getting. So it may not have seemed that way or it may not seem that way at this very moment, but that's what the universe is telling you, honey. We put you in this pressury, uncomfortable, heavy, burdensome situation because we knew that it was going to push you to be curious and hop into this little hole, aka this ocean, and take a dive. And it's going to lead you to where you're meant to be. And that is the next chapter in your life. I'm getting a lot of new, new energies for you. You will make it through this, is what the universe is saying to you here today. This could be in regards with the no contact here, unthinkable with Alicia Keys. It could be in regards to a separation. It could be in regards to um, you parting ways with someone, whether that's a friend, a lover, someone significant. It could be you losing someone in your life, my condolences, you know, and it pushes you and leads you down this rabbit hole where you're like, all right, what's life all about, you know? Yeah, that's what it's giving. All right, so you're very creative, by the way, too, with shine bright like a candle. This is giving that it's time for you to display your creativity. It's time for you to put your talents on the shelf. It's time for you to put a price tag on your talents. It's time for you to really show the world what you got, okay? Because you got a lot. <laughs> All right, let's get, let's get it. Let's go. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> How do I know how long I'm on here? I mean, I guess I will never know. I'm, this is a new camera, guys. I'm trying to figure it out. It doesn't really tell me. I mean, who knows? Whatever. Let's keep going. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me like how long I've been on. Because I like to know for my own reasons so I could be fair with all the piles. But whatever. All right, so you could be a very fair person, okay? That's given Libra vibes. All right, spirit. It stopped raining, by the way. It was just a shower. All right, so it's giving. It comes and it goes. Confirmation. What else does Palmo need to hear? Thank you, spirit. Your eyes are beautiful. They're very significant. Mm-hmm. We have imagine. Right now, it's all about your manifestations. Right now, it's about you creating this real world. And if you look at this image, there's a person here, right? And it's that person's pulling down the moon. We connect the moon to our intuition, to the other realm, the spiritual realm, alchemy. So it's giving you pulling this moon down. You're waking something up within you. Mm-hmm. You're being pushed to wake something up within you. And you're like bringing it to you. It's like the moon is your balloon. You have a strong connection with the moon. You got Pisces in your chart. We have all that glitters, number 16. I'm going to get one more and we're going to tap in. All right, one more spirit. Yeah, because I want to go to the book for all that glitters. One more for Pa One. Thank you. We have 34, a leg up. All right. Back of the deck. We have 39, new life. I'm telling you. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and look, here you have the little banner at the top. Like, it's a party. And here you have the little banner on the top too, like it's a party, all right? So you got celebrations coming. You manifested change. Yes, you manifested change. You manifested a new life. You're manifesting a new life. All right, so let's tap in. I'm going to get the book. I bought the book for a reason. I've had this deck for years, and I only use it intuitively, but I've been guided to actually use the book. So let's see. Number 20, imagine. All right. All right, so what does this mean? Turning imagination into manifestation. 
Creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity, illusions. Now, what is art? Art is basically one connecting imagination with imagery, all right? Kind of like painting. So you are an artist, all right? It's giving me you creating something here. Who do you want to be is the, is the question, Pawan. What do you need to believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power of imagine, which is the power of manifestation. If you can dream it, if you can dream it, you can create it. This is a time when your manifestation is key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals and meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat, what you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see things come pass in the other world as if by magic. So you are magical, Pawan. You are. What you think, you manifest. What you believe, you bring into fruition, okay? So it's very important, especially right now, sweetheart, it's really, really important for you to envision, okay? It's all about you envisioning the future, envisioning yourself, point blank, period, however you want your life to be because... You literally are the creator of your world, point blank period. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing you creating this world by taking a deep dive. Now, with all that glitters, a need to see beyond the superficial, the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise its true nature, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly thing being miracle, okay? It's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself. It's natural to want to acquire trappings of status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. But if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, or a title, or a position, the stamp of authority, or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, place, or thing, or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the marks. Hmm, sorry, lost my breath there. <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> Learn to recognize the mask people wear. What? Learn to recognize the mask people wear and the motives underlining them. Imagine that all that glitters is gone. Will you still desire the object or person? Ooh, so basically what the universe is saying to you here today, Pawan, one, don't believe everything you see, all right? Just because somebody's out here, you know, possibly like driving a luxury car or rocking um, designer brands or, um, I don't know, showcasing their best life, don't believe everything you see because sometimes it's a facade. Sometimes it's not even real. So I'm getting two people, Pawan. one, confirmation. All right, I'm getting two people, Pawan, one, acting like they live in their best life. Don't let that fool you, all right? Maybe you're bothered by somebody because they're, like, throwing shit in your face. Or maybe somebody is trying to, like, toot their horn around you, like, ha-ha, look at me. You know, like, there, there's two people here specifically. I don't know who these two people are, but apparently there's two people around you that are acting like they got it when they really don't, all right? So be careful with connecting with certain people, especially if they're coming through and, you know, they're like, like I'm seeing it right now, somebody trying to, like, holler or somebody trying to connect with you, like, hey, and you see them driving a nice, expensive car, you know? Meanwhile, it's a rental. You know what I'm saying? Like, pay attention to these things because not everything that glitters is gold, okay? And not everything that shines is good. So it's giving be careful with certain people, especially two people. I'm getting two people in your life, pa one, pretending to have it or pretending to be something they're not. 
And it has to do with reputation. It has to do with the 3D things, car, houses, money, um, jewels, designers, you know, those type of things. Okay. So sometimes people buy cars or people buy certain things because of how it's going to make them feel or how it's going to make them look. And there's nothing wrong with buying designer things because honey, <laughs> my videos is in Leo and I'm a Libra. Okay. So if anybody likes to shop, that's me. Okay. <laughs> and I don't do it for other people. I do it for me because it really makes me feel good. But there's some people that buy things because they want to show off. So one thing you're being told here today, pa one, don't show off. If you're getting something or buying something or investing in something is because, you know, do it because you really, truly want it. Don't do it because it's going to make you look a certain way or it's going to make you feel a certain way or have a certain status. Now, also be careful with people coming into your life. I'm getting two people again around you that are like faking it like they got it, but they really don't got it. All right. And there's a reason the warning is coming through because the universe doesn't want you to be fooled to believe that someone is doing something or someone is super successful when they're really really not, you know? All right. So there's that. All right. Let's pass that. So warning. All right. There's two frauds out here pretending they got it when they really don't. <laughs> all right. 34. Ain't nothing new about that. People do it all the time. People fake for the gram, you know, people fake for people, you know what I'm saying? People live for people sometimes. And so you're being guided to live for yourself. Don't live for people. If you do something, do it because you authentically want to do it. All right. So we have a leg up. And with the leg up, is giving, receiving help, all right? Delegating authority, interdependence, all right? So you've come to a point where going, going it alone is no longer an optional, is no longer optional for you. Life has a way of presenting you with the perfect people to align with who can give you a leg up during this next phase of your journey. Help comes to you in all areas of your life where you need a boost. The trick is to accept that aid so freely given. When you embrace interdependence, allowing teamwork and independence to commonly miracles happen. Now is such a time. All right. So it's giving me you're about to get help. Mm hmm. You're about to get some sort of support, sweetheart. I'm getting two people coming through and wanting to help you. And this is a leg up. This is the universe sending these two folks towards you. One is authentic. One is a trickster. Be very careful with the help. But definitely there's aid coming in. So that's really good. The universe is here to help you, baby. The universe sees you. Like, you need me, babe? I got you. I'll be right there. Let me send my friend over here to put you in that position. Let me send my friend over here to um, give you that opportunity. Let me put my friend over here to um, market your business or market your items. Or let me plug you with this person. This person's going to help you get that job you need. Or let me plug you with that person. That person's going to help you get the education you need. All right, so there's something you've been doing and you've been doing it alone and what the universe is saying is that that's it you're independent and you're going to stay independent but you need support and you need help and we're sending you someone specifically to help you and guide you and level you up okay so there's some genuine support coming in for you pa one bless all right and with um 39 here new life a birth of new ideas, growth opportunities, a birth of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens, the world joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. All right. So spring, spring is significant. Keep that in mind. Keyword spring. All right. So this spring, you are birthing something new and is giving a project, okay? And you're gonna feel it in the core of your soul, in the core, you're gonna feel it, all right? You're blossoming just like the flowers this spring. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song. And nature is full of promises. Miracles beckon all on us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All this is well in your life and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine bright for this is a time of good fortune. Yes. 
bless okay point blank period you are literally going through a rebirth a renewal and someone is significant because i'm getting somebody helping you level up and this is the universe is doing okay so let's get some tarot out here yeah and then we're gonna get some advice and guidance we're gonna do some charms too yeah all right so let's see what tarot has for you here today yeah, let me move these cards a little down so I got room for my cards. Okay. One more. Bliss. All right, look at that. The sun is coming out. You see, sometimes it has to shower. We need that so that our plants, our trees, our crops can feed, right? And then the sun comes right back out to let us know i'm here honey all right so i'm getting a shower passes and you know it keeps you inside but then the sun comes out and you get to go back out bless all right so holy spirit talk to me what else is pal one needing to hear here today holy spirit what's the message for pal one here today i'm hearing i don't want to know why is that song coming to me all right so somebody doesn't want to know what you're doing somebody is stressed and pressed about what you got going on and they're worried they're like i don't know i don't want to know i don't want to know all right we have the seven of pentacles here so it's giving you waiting right now you're you're going through a resting period okay you're in this rest period right now you're being told to be patient, have faith. You invested in something or you've been investing in something and it's growing. Didn't I just speak, look at that. Didn't I just speak to you about the rain and how we need the rain sometimes so our crops can grow, okay? Yeah, so you needed this storm, believe it or not, so that your crops can grow, so that you can grow. This pain, it, it pushes you to grow, all right? So let's see. What else Pawn 1 needs to hear? You're a hard worker, Pawn 1. All right, you need to get out of your head with the eight of swords here. You need to get out of your head, honey. You may be worried, nervous, or scared because things aren't flourishing, but they're happening, especially this spring. All right, so we need the showers. Everything's happening in divine timing. All right, the lovers in reverse. Okay. You got somebody out here nervous, okay? This could be a friend, a family member, or a lover. Take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing somebody here that was significant, that is not here anymore, that wants to come back. They learned their lesson is what they're telling me here. 88 could be significant. Gemini, Pisces, lots of Gemini, Taurus. All right, so somebody wants to try one more time with you. I feel like you're scared of this person or you're scared of this opportunity because you don't know what's coming. Eight of wands in reverse. <laughs> or you could just be, or this person just makes you feel nervous. Y'all could have had a fallout. Honey, what's at the back of the deck? The three of cups. Okay. So it's giving third party situation, friends. <sighs> All right, the universe wants you to know that you may be waiting for somebody to communicate with you or you're waiting to see um, what's going to happen next in a situation because you may have invested in a person, place, or thing. So you're waiting, you're like nervous, you're not sure what's next, what's coming, what's going. Um, the universe is telling you, listen, you've been having like a lot of negative thoughts lately and you need to get rid of those thoughts listen even it happens it happens even to me okay every day and i'd be like no bloop 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 <laughs> psh, 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 psh. all right whenever the thoughts come in i speak back to the thoughts like um you're wrong sorry come back another day bye, bye, bye. all right i don't entertain the bad thoughts they're gonna come they're gonna come the negative thoughts the negative chatter it's gonna come we're human i don't know why but it comes so what the universe is telling you is that you can't avoid the negative thoughts, but what you could do is fight back, all right? Get rid of them. Don't listen to the negative chatter. Don't listen to the negative thoughts. Do not feed the negative thoughts. So, like, let's say, for instance, um, something pops up, right? And you're like, oh, my gosh, did I do that? Did I not do that? And you know you did it, but your mind is fucking with you, right? Because the mind does tend to fuck with you sometimes. And you're like, all right, but I don't know if I did. And then so 
it starts to create doubt. And then the doubt starts to become like this big monster. And then it builds anxiety. And then it builds worry. And then next thing you know, you're like, oh my God, I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. I don't know what happened. I don't know what this, I don't know what that. If it kills your mood, negative thoughts, negative chatter in the mind kills your mood. And so what the universe is saying is don't even feed into this bullshit because it's not even yours. These negative thoughts, these negative ideas, are not yours. And so you need to remove them because if not, you're, if you entertain the negative thoughts, you're allowing it to put you in some sort of self-imposed prison. All right. It's like, you're creating a prison in your own mind. And the universe is like, why would you do that? Like, why would you put your own self in this negative place? You could avoid that by literally saying that's not real. That's not fake. These are not my thoughts. Goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye, Linda deuces. All right. So all right? You push it to the side. You're being told to do that. All right? You're not a victim. You're a survivor. Switch the channel. So if you feel like a victim, the universe is saying, no, you're not a victim, honey. You're a survivor. Switch the channel for a fact. Right now, it's all about self-love. Right now, it's all about caring about yourself, doing for yourself. All right? There is disharmony is what I'm seeing. You're learning a lesson, a major lesson. Uh-huh. And I'm getting that somebody made a bad decision because of bad advice so that's like a confirmation so if you we have eight 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 here no lie we have the eight of swords the eight of cups and the eight of wands eight 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 all right so listen um that is a very abundant number you're about to be very abundant that's why you shouldn't let these negative thoughts get the best of you because i do see you celebrating over here yeah, I see you celebrating. You have somebody blocked, whether this is a family member, a friend, or an ex. You got somebody blocked out here. And I'm getting that there's been delays in regards to communication with this person. Um, This person made a bad decision or made a bad choice because of bad advice Um, is what I'm getting here. And because they were fearful of commitment. I'm getting this person like really indecisive. And they're scared of change, but they're coming back towards you because they're scared of losing you. So they're scared to commit. They're scared of change. And they're scared of losing you because you're giving new life. You're giving ascension. And so I see you frustrated when they come back because you're going to feel their energy. It's like they're coming in, but it's like, why are you trying to reopen a wound? That's why there's this frustration here because they're not coming in with a solid energy where, listen, I had time to think things through. I had time to really reevaluate the situation and I know what I want now. No, it's giving like, oh, I don't want to lose you. It looks like you're about to level up. So let me um, attach myself before you level up so that you don't leave me. But the options are still open. I don't know. There's something weird here. So the universe is basically letting you know that this person is indecisive. Yes, they're suffering. Yes, they're frustrated. Yes, they're sad. Um, but also, yes, they're indecisive. And so they don't know what they want. And there's a lot of fear in this person's energy. They fear change. They fear losing you. They fear you. Yeah, I don't want to know by Wayne Wonder. I don't want to know. If you playing me, keep it on the low, cause my heart can't take it anymore. All right, so this is, even if you guys are not in a commitment, even if it's not love, this person doesn't want to know what you're doing, doesn't want to know what you're participating in because it will hurt them. Because it will be confirmation that they're losing you, whether that is as a family member, a friend, or a lover. Take that how it resonates. But I feel like for a lot of you, this is love. Anywho, you're about to have your new life here. Let's get some, um, let's get some charms out here, okay? Yeah, because I see a new life out here for you. Point blank, period. <laughs> all right, charms. They're all the way over here, guys. So I gotta like dig, but I'm totally not looking, as you can see. What was that? I gotta see what that was. All right. Now, this is going to be very interesting because I'm going to show you the charms, but you obviously can't see the charms right here because they're like right here, right? Okay, so, but I'm going to show you them. First, let's do initials. 
But this was your message, Pot One, basically. Long story short, you're about to have a new life. And the universe doesn't want you to entertain these negative thoughts as they're not yours. Sometimes people throw us evil eye and negative energy. And so, especially you, because you're very intuitive, you're also very highly, highly sensitive. So when people are throwing you things and they're like trying to reflect or project their energy onto you you know yeah project not a reflection because it's a projection they're trying to project their negativity onto you you feel it and then you start questioning yourself about this that and then you're like where did these ideas come from where did this energy come from it's not yours these are people that are in your energy that are like throwing energy towards you and it's like all right um you know it's it's to basically distract you and slow you down but let's get into your initials so the universe doesn't want you to pay attention we have d a y day something's happening in a day okay so like from one day to another overnight vibes okay that's what it's giving we have h n u i e hein Q I D T. Somebody could be like a detective or work for the police department. Or there's something here about detective. We also have dine here. Like somebody wants to dine with you. Take you out to eat. We have D L. Somebody could be on the down low. All right. We have O A. And we also have don't. All right. So something about don't. Okay, AK, somebody could like guns. We have HA, somebody could wear a lot of hats. It's giving hack. Somebody wants to hack somebody because they hate them. All right, so I don't know. Protect your accounts, protect your, your everything, okay? Because somebody wants to hack somebody because they hate them. It's a lie, L-I-E. Somebody's lying out here on your lights. Somebody's, somebody's saying you're lying about your light or you're shining and it's a lie, but it's not. Okay. Um, anyway, we, talk, we also got here the night. Somebody could stay up late at night or work at night. All right. We have FR, PH. All right. Um, something about somebody's PH balance. All right. Maybe somebody's PH balance is out of whack. Go to a doctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rap. Somebody could rap. Harp, something about the weather, and we did get the rain. All right, maybe you, maybe there's something about harp. You're finding out something about harp, or you're putting people on to like harp. That's like a weather controlling system or whatever. I don't know much about that, but I know that, um, for what I know, it controls weather. All right, but yeah, <laughs> the weather is going crazy here. I I U I U Rip. I feel like somebody's going to put something on blast in regards to like weather control. And that's a general message. So you may find out about this social media, online or something. You guys got the camera. So interesting. The camera on the camera. <laughs> and watch out. Watch out. Look at this. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the button? Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. All right, this is a camera. So something about a camera could be significant. Maybe you're taking pictures. Maybe you're doing content or you're being guided to do some content, take some pictures. Why is it not focusing? All right, there we go. Maybe you're being guided to, to do some like photography or maybe you're a photographer, confirmation. And then you got the beautiful flowers here. I don't know if you guys noticed my plants. All right, this one's from Hawaii. I forgot its name, but it's from Hawaii. And then this one's from Florida. Okay, so we're all tropical over here. <laughs> um, but you got the bouquet and it says, good luck. Enjoy life and love yourself. Best wishes, happy life. Slow down and take it easy. Let's see if it, if it could focus on it. Hopefully you can see it. But yeah, I'm getting you getting your flowers. Yeah, slow down, take it easy. All right, something about baking soda here. The flick of that risk. <laughs> maybe somebody's a baker, all right? Because we also have chocolate here. All right, maybe somebody's into culinary. 
or my ear just thrived for that, all right? Or maybe you're listening to something or you're doing more cooking. We have Hershey's chocolate. I'm hearing in the kitchen stirring like a stir fry. In the kitchen, in the net, like a stir fry. I think that's the Migos, all right? I forgot the name of that song. If you know it, put it in the comments. You also have the fishing rod here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Yeah, that's a fishing rod. All right, so maybe you're going fishing or you're fishing for compliments or you're fishing for something. You're going to get it. And then we have here my favorite baby, the little mermaid. Okay, Ariel. So you can connect to like Ariel's story. So Ariel is the daughter of King Triton. Okay, King Triton is the son of Poseidon. So you may have like really strong ancestors, sweetheart, is what I'm getting. And so Ariel was different than her other sisters her other sisters was compliant of you know the royal laws because she was a princess but ariel was more of a free spirit she wanted to explore she wanted to be with the humans even though she was a mermaid she was extremely optimistic people called her delusional because of how optimistic she was she was you're a mermaid what do you mean you want to go be with the people you can't you have fins she managed to make it happen and in the story you know there was um what was her name Ursula the sea witch who wanted to take her voice because she wanted to take her gift so that she could rule over the ocean. She had a whole plot plan, but she ends up being, you know, taken care of by her man in the end of the movie. Okay. With a bow. Okay. But yeah, so just know that through trials and tribulations, you know, you become stronger and things are revealed to you. We also have here Chewbacca from Star Wars. So you could you could see yourself as a star seed. Um I don't know much about Chewbacca. Maybe somebody loves Chewbacca. And then we also have here Cinderella. All right, so Cinderella had a fairy godmother, fairies. Fairies could be significant. And her fairy godmother got her out of a shitty situation where her stepmother used to bully her, abuse her because she was jealous of her. And her stepsisters used to abuse her as well because they were jealous of her. But she ends up winning at the end of the day. She gets her Prince Charming and whatnot. You know, so there's someone out here looking for you or trying to replace you with other people. Um, and it's just not working because that prince, I forgot his name. Was it Prince Charming? I don't even know. All right. Anyway, the prince that um, Cinderella met at the ball, you know, he caught a vibe. And he was like, hold up, where are you going? He had her glass slipper. And he wanted to find her so bad that he wanted people to try on the shoe. He had everybody in town try on that shoe because he wanted the vibe. He wanted her. And none of them fit the shoe. He was sad. So it's giving somebody trying to replace you or trying to find you in other people, but they never find it. They never get the vibe because... It's one of a kind. You're one of a kind, point blank, period. Let's see what your advice is, Pawan. And then that's that. Oh my God, now it's like all sunny outside. I mean, do you see the change in lighting in my room? That's just, you know, proof of what I'm saying. Like it went from shh, thunderstorms in a sense to the sun coming out. That's a sign. Mm -hmm. So the storm came in for you, Pawan. All right, for you to know, like, listen, a storm did pass. It is passing. And the sun is going to come back outside. Point blank, period. All right, what's the advice for Pawan? Advice for Pawan. But get out your head, all right? <laughs> it's give and take two. All right, you're going to be doing something again, but you're perfecting it. Again, you should look up the powerhouse number 11 because that's what you got, powerhouse number 11. All right, you're in full control. You're mastering something. You're doing something one more time, but you're doing it even better, all right? So it's giving you, like you already did something great in your life. You already have an accolade, right? But you're proving to yourself and others like, oh, you thought that was luck? No, that was destined, and I'm about to do it again because it is my destiny to be that. All right, so what's the advice for Pawan? Thank you. 
in the kitchen stirring like a stir fry. <laughs> I hear it clearly. All right, um, we have take a vacation and it's giving flamingos. All right, so maybe you may want to go on vacation wherever they got flamingos. It doesn't have to be, you know what I'm saying? But maybe you want to go see the flamingos. Um, take a vacation, take time to escape all of your life obligations and recharge yourself all right take a little day off take a vacation a weekend off a week off a day off whatever you can take off take it off all right the universe wants you to what else small things matter sometimes it's the little things that can make life wonderful all right, sometimes it's the little things that make life wonderful, like coffee, <laughs> notebooks, okay, sun tanning, <laughs> um, lattes, um, margaritas, <laughs> tacos, <laughs> little things like that make life wonderful, you know? A car wash. <laughs> so remember to, you know, appreciate the little things. Enjoy the little things because they all make a difference okay avoid gossip all right I, I see that you know you are the topic because you are on top pa one but the universe is saying avoid it avoid the gossip get rid of negative energy in your life and don't let it steal your light all right so people are going to want to steal your light and the way they're going to do it is by talking shit so just avoid it like shine bright like a diamond again because you are enough you're enough you're more than enough. Point blank, period. All right? There's nothing to be fixed. Your authentic self is complete and whole. Don't ever doubt who you are. Period. All right? Sometimes people treat us a certain way, and then we start doubting ourselves. Like, hold up. Was it because of me? Is there something wrong with me? Like, why they did that to me? No. It's not because of you. And that's what the universe wants you to know. Bless. <laughs> I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, definitely hit the um, subscribe button, hit the bell button. Let me know how you felt in the comments. My OGs, you already know what time it is. I love y'all so much. It was a pleasure having you here with me today. Let me know that you connected with me here today in the comments. I am in the comments and I will be there to reply, okay? Give me some time, but I'm there. I'm there. I'm definitely there. And I love you guys so much. Remember, don't listen to the chatter in your head. Sometimes those are not even your thoughts. Those are energies being shot at you because apparently you you the topic right now. Because you on top. <laughs> Bless. Mwah. Sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. Deuces. Hello there. How are you doing, pal, too? Okay. <laughs> all right. Maybe that's a sign. All right. I had to fix my little arm. All right. How are you doing, pal, too? Welcome, welcome. If you chose mother of the salt waters, then you are at your reading. Bless. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's connect. Bless. All right. I'm going to use my protection mist for us here today, of course. I use this every reading, so that way... We are protected during this space and time. That is available on my shop, link down below, 25% off right now. Let me give you your angel number and we're going to hop in. Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 2. Thank you. What is Pal 2's message here today? I'm hearing um, Beyonce's song. This this ain't texas woo <laughs> i don't know maybe you're from texas or you're not from texas or something about um that song round 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 country music all right 613 is your angel number so go to your search engine put in 613 angel number meaning and bam there goes your message from spirit if you can do share your message as everybody gets a different message and you know i love to read it people love to read it etc all right so your angel number 613 which is giving us 10 L is which is giving us one. All right, so you may have life path number one, okay, or you could be in your first year of the 
numerology numbers okay take that how it resonates i don't do numerology readings but i do know some of it all right so the number one speaks of the divine masculine energy confirmation on my fern put it this way so you can see when it lights up um but yeah that's a confirmation from sheen okay so maybe you shop there but back to the number one divine masculine energy regardless of sex female or male that is an energy we all have masculine and feminine energies so this is giving me leadership vibes okay it's giving me you being the controller you delegating to others you knowing what you want and knowing where you're going okay this is giving me you in control and it's also giving a new beginning because the number one does speak about new beginnings all right the first page of the book all right so you're writing and it's giving a book so maybe you guys are journalists or maybe you guys are publishers or you speak or something like that but i'm getting you on the first page of a journey okay so you're writing a new book there's a new journey ahead for you and you're in charge all right you are in charge some of you guys have aries in your chart that is the first sign of you know the horoscope calendar okay or aries is significant with this new beginning which is giving march april all right so you got mother of the salt waters passion wild love open your heart let love in Ooh, and there's a lot of water there all right she's surrounded by water but she's controlling the water all right so i'm getting you in control of your emotions Open up your heart, Pal 2, is the message here for you today so you could let love in. And it's giving wild love coming your way, chemistry, passion. Mm, there's a lot coming your way. So the number one would be the father, right? And then you have the mother here in your card. So it's giving father, mother. It's giving um, a duo. Hmm. Okay. Bless. Let's get it. Let's go. So you're, con you're in control of your emotions and you're in control of your life at this time in general. But it's giving it starts with your emotions. I'm going to use my Music Oracle deck volume three to get the vibe and energy out here today. This deck is available on my shop listed down below in the description. All right. So Holy Spirit, what's the vibe and energy for Pal 2 here with me today? What's their vibe? This ain't Texas. <laughs> Woo. all right maybe you're going somewhere and you're like whoa this is new all right we have all eyes on me new love oh honey oh i named the song new love but this is all eyes on me by meek meals featuring Nicki minaj and chris brown all right so this is whoa <laughs> whoa all right so you're gonna be surprised with something you see he was the realest, I was the baddest. We was the illest. When he approached me, I said, what's your deal is? In and out them dealers rocking chinchillas. I got him in the back of the batch. I think he catching feelings. Oh, it's all lies on us. And this all lies on trust. And if them bleeps want to trip, tell them their tour guides on us. This kitty cat on reclusive, we duck duck in them gooses. I put him on that new new. Now he only Fs with exclusives. He was like, what's your name? My name, Nick. Where you from? New York in this bitch. Choose and pick. You got the right one. All them hoes ain't nothing like them. Bleep, you know you never wife them. None of them bleeps ain't never hit this. Still at the top of their hit list. What they gonna do, Meek and Nick? Ooh, honey. All right, so it's giving a, a union coming your way. It's giving new love. Either you're in this new love already or it's coming. Hmm. It's giving power couple because not for nothing, these are two powerful rappers. Meek Mills is at the top. Nicki Minaj is at the top. All right, um, where they're at, you know... It doesn't matter. They're at the top. They're well-known artists, right? So I'm getting like, if you're an artist specifically, you're going to link with another artist. All right. That's for my artists, for my creators. Now, in general, I'm getting like, you're powerful and you're about to connect with someone else that's just as powerful as you if you're not connecting with them already. And it's giving new love, new love. All right. And then we have Bad by Wale featuring Rihanna, Amateur Lover. 
All right, so you may have dealt with some amateurs in your life, okay? You have a big papa or a big mama coming your way, point blank, period, okay? So I'm being guided for you. Here, yes, there, yes. We're first. Here first. All right, so we're going to do wisdom of the oracle first for you, and then I'm going over there for the tea leaves because I'm being guided in different ways. It's different from part one. All right, so let's go. This ain't Texas. Woo! All right, so for pile one, there was like a whole shower going on outside. I was like, oh my gosh, it's coming down. It was raining so much that you couldn't even see through the glass. And then towards the end, the sun came out. And then for you, pile two, the sun is like fully out. The clouds have left. The sun is out. It's shining. It's beautiful. All right, so it's giving a sunny, beautiful day. All right, bless. All right, so what what does Pao 2 need to hear here today? What does the universe want to say to Pao 2? Some of you guys have Pisces in your chart because I am dead staring at my Pisces candle, which is available for limited time on my shop. We have, oh my gosh, number 22. Maybe February 22 is significant for some of you guys. We have blessed. You're blessed, Pao 2. 22, pal 2, 2, 2, 2. You may be seeing this number a lot. We're going to tap into that in a sec. Let me see what else you get, though. What else does pal 2 need to hear here today? We have the number 10, which was your number technically, which leads to one unfinished symphony. All right, I feel like you got a couple things coming your way, pal 2. You have someone coming your way that you may have unfinished business. They want to speak. Because there's a birdie on this card. Somebody could do music. Mm, confirmation. Or use their throat chakra for their endeavors. Speak, write, sing, rap, however it goes. One more for part two. Thank you, Sverin. This is Ted. We have five orphaned. All right. Powerful message. Back of the deck. We have number seven to the C, and it's interesting because I did choose my water deck for the pick a card today, and you have to the C, number seven. All right, so 22, seven, 10, and five could be significant. Now let's tap in. I want to use my book. I did get the book for this deck on purpose because I wanted to, like, I've, I've been reading this deck for years. That's why it looks brolic. Like, if you look at it, like, some cards are, like, old looking and other cards are like fresh looking okay because i've been using this deck for a while but i was pulled to get the book so i got a new deck and combined them all right so there's something about old and new here in your reading out with the old and with the new let's see what that's all about number 22 this ain't text is woo <laughs> i can't get it out of my head it's just like blur. it's like blasting in my head all right so maybe you want to go listen to that song i don't even know what the name of that song is anyway with blessed it says here something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit all right so listen pal two the universe wants you to know that you're about to get a gift that you didn't work for that you didn't um create yourself this is the universe wanting to bless you because you're a blessing all right so you have a blessing that you don't even see coming you don't see it coming because you're not expecting it you don't even know what it is it's a surprise so they're not really telling me exactly what it is but we'll see um, but something's coming out of the blue. So it's giving a once in a lifetime type of opportunity, a once in a lifetime type of gift, a blessing. You're blessed. Yes. There are moments in our life when out of the blue, it seems that everything has been orchestrated by the divine, divine intervention. All right. So there was some sort of divine intervention going on in your life, pal two. So something took a detour, surprisingly. All right. This is a blessing. All right. This is you dodging a bullet or something like that. You feel blessed in ways that are different to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. We're talking about the seas, the <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> and it's from Jackpot. No lie. I don't know if you can see it. 
Anyway, it's from jackpot. All right, so you're hitting some sort of jackpot, all right? The universe, you're hitting like a spiritual jackpot. The universe is opening the Red Sea, in a sense, for you, splitting the ocean for you so you could walk easily past this, like, ocean, okay? This is crazy, all right? And like I said, I chose the water deck, and you, you're getting all this water here, okay? Somebody could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their chart. Okay, so the universe is parting the seas for you so you could walk through the ocean walk through the ocean <laughs> that doesn't happen every day okay so you're getting you're gaining some sort of access and this access is helping to banish your problems your troubles easily and naturally okay it's a miracle you know deep down you did not deserve any of it you didn't deserve none of that bullshit all right whatever was given to you the troubles the problem the baggage you didn't deserve that you know that deep down inside and yet here we are. So you may have allowed something to transpire or you may have allowed something to like coexist with you when you knew you deserved better or whatever. I'm getting that vibe. OK, so deep down inside, you know, you didn't deserve that. And, you know, you shouldn't be dealing with these type of people or these type of situations. But for some reason, you allowed it to exist for a second there. All right. This is one of those times. Let awe and gratitude for all your blessings guide you now. Oh, you're being blessed. All right. The universe is saying, voila, part the Red Sea for my pal too right now. And may they walk gracefully through this ocean with no problems. All right. So you're going from one place to another naturally, easily. And it's the universe is doing. Okay. The universe is like, yes, let my baby through. Banish those problems. Banish those people. I was going to say losers. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Um, with unfinished symphony, unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. This is a time to tie up loose ends at your near as you're near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice rational acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. All right, so it's giving a song playing, right? Like a broken record. And we're about to like, like, that would be annoying to hear the same song all day, every day. Even if it's your favorite song, like after a while, it gets played out, right? So I'm getting something like finally about to come to a close. Like it's finally gonna get, like this story, this song is finally going to stop playing. It's annoyed you. It's been bothering you. It's like, oh, all right. So the universe wants you to, you know, get closure. And the closure is basically acknowledging and realizing what you went through and how you may have settled for less or you may have allowed something to play out in your life when you could have possibly you know detoured or did something about it yourself but the universe intervened because the universe didn't want you to participate any longer in some bullshit that you didn't deserve all right so there's something about that take it how it resonates okay but you're being blessed and i'm getting a cycle literally closing right now or getting ready to close and it's because you're gonna get the closure you need with orphan being here this person could have abandoned you all right so there was lack of closure somebody just left you hanging somebody ghosted you or somebody didn't treat you right and they didn't even let you know why like why why did you treat me like that why did you behave that way what's up with you like they left you with questions and no answers all right so with orphan being here a sense of loss an identity crisis recognizing that you don't fit in the need to belong uncertainty about your place <sighs> i need a sip of my latte <laughs> there's like a weird duck out there making weird noises okay there's that we were all meant to have connections with other people within our family society and the larger culture no man is an island 
And it's important to recognize when being a part of rather than separated from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. Be true to your core truths and values. Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. So it's giving a group, it's giving this could be friends, family, colleagues, um, a lover and a group connected to a lover. It's giving a group of people and you not fitting in anymore with these people. It's giving you outgrowing people. Maybe once upon a time, y'all were cool, copacetic, y'all vibed with each other. It was a vibe. It was cool. You know, you felt like you fit in. It was fun. It was, it was a time, you know, you had to be there. All right. But Sometimes we outgrow people, right? Sometimes we outgrow family. We got, we outgrow lovers. We outgrow friends, you know? And it's difficult to disconnect or part ways from those people because we have emotional attachment. But what I'm getting here is that for some of you, take this how it resonates, Pao too, but I'm getting for a while there, you've been chilling or hanging out or connected with certain people because of history or because of the, because of the name of love, all right, because you love them, but there's something that just doesn't feel well, it doesn't sit well anymore, and it's as if, like, there's a realization coming in, and the universe is parting the sea for you, so the universe knows that you don't want to be around these people, you don't want to you don't want to participate with these people anymore. Like you have outgrown these people. You you're looking at these people, this group of people, like y'all need to level up. Y'all need to grow up. Like if we're doing the same thing we were doing last year, there's no growth, right? So it's giving that like you want growth. Your mind has changed. Your perspective has changed. Whether that's with family, friends, love, work, however it goes, like something has changed within you. And even though you still have love for these people and you still probably care about these people, it's giving you're literally gaining access to a new world. And this is God, the universe, parting the seas, giving you this miracle access to a new world, a new dimension, a new portal, a new life because you're blessed. Blessed. And apparently, whoever these people are, you guys unfortunately are just not vibing in the same frequency anymore. And so you are looking at some folks, a group of people like, <laughs> um, I gotta go, okay? <laughs> God just opened up the ocean for me and it's a one-way type of thing and it's only one admission. So you guys can't come with me, but I'll let y'all know how my voyage went. I'll let y'all know how my, my trip went. <laughs> you know, it's like, I still a beast, the baby, okay? So there, there's a difficulty here though. I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm a little goofy, but there's like a, um, there's something deep going on here where you're, separating from people, places, and things that just don't fit you anymore. You have outgrown. It hurts to sit there. It hurts to like, you know, when you try to put a shoe on and you have outgrown the shoe, it hurts. It creates bunions, all right? So yeah, you could put the shoe on, but then you're going to get bunions and then your feet are going to be ugly and it's going to hurt to walk in those shoes anyway. So it's like you realizing like, you know what? Look at those brand new, what are the odds? Those brand new shoes right there. I didn't have to pay for them. I didn't even ask for them. They're just there. Like, that has to be God. That has to be the universe giving me these brand new shoes because I have outgrown my shoes and I need to take these shits off. They're giving me bunions. All right, so you you switching shoes. I don't know. There's something here about fashion shoes. I don't know. Take it out of resonates, but you switching gears, okay? Because you have outgrown your environment. You have outgrown the people around you. And you may feel guilty for outgrowing these folks, but this is your journey. This is your mission. You were meant to outgrow these people. All right, so with go to the sea. So you may be going overseas, or this could be associated to you traveling, you going somewhere, because we have the sea here, literally. Go to the sea, all right? And underneath that, we have a community, number eight. 
Oh my gosh. And underneath that, we have the Treasure Island. All right. So you're going somewhere amazing. Uh, amazing. Yes. And you're flexible. That's why you're gaining access to this beautiful, amazing place. So I'm going to do um, go to the sea because you have it here. Being in the flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a new way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Like you're leaving a river, all right? So you've been at some sort of river. You're leaving the river and you're going to the sea. The sea will connect you to different countries, different places. It's giving a big, big adventure on the horizon for you. And just because eight is right after seven, all right, so let's see, with you going to the flow, what happens? With the community being here, aside from you getting your treasure chest, it's giving you finding treasure, all right? So the community says here, belonging. So you're finding your people, your soul tribe. So I'm getting you not feeling comfortable in some sort of group or environment and you going somewhere because God, the universe is literally giving you a miracle access. And then, confirmation on my phone, and then you find the people that you do belong with, people that match your frequency, people that match your flow, your steez, your energy. Okay, okay, hold on. Belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. So it's like you're finding your place in the world and literally the divine is guiding you to where you belong, with who you belong. All right, so the oracle message here is the card signals a new affiliation with a group. Humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful to our families and communities. In a community, everyone has an important function. Everybody has an important function and feels I matter. Membership is the group provides a sense of belonging, a kingship and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love and education, regardless of its form or focus. Your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your Contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the group, your presence is needed. You're needed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very like, you know, <laughs> I'm very colorful. All right. So listen, you're needed. Patsu, you are needed. You're needed. You're needed somewhere. Okay. And that's why you're being guided. That's why the sea is parting its ways for you. That's why you're getting access to this new world. That's why you don't feel like you fit in with certain people because you're meant to be with other people because you have a role that you need to play, whether that's just you showing up and Pre you know, being present, <laughs> I'm here, Patu, or that's you being the leader. Like, all right. All right, so this is how we're going to do it. All right, we did it over there like this. I already know what I'm doing. Okay, so, da -da 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 -da. you know, it's going to be different for all of you, but that's the vibe. Woo, this ain't Texas. Woo, <laughs> back to what I said. You're going somewhere, and wherever you're going, it ain't where you're at, all right? Or you just did this. Take it how it resonates, okay? This could be confirmation, or this is a prediction, but this is what I'm getting. You blessed? <laughs> you blessed. This ain't Texas. Woo! <laughs> All right. What else does Pal 2 need to hear? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wherever you're leaving, there's deception. There's toxicity. There's liars. There's stealers. There's cheaters. There's the devil. All right? You're leaving the devil behind, okay? Whether that's a person, a habit, a situation, something is toxic,
And so that's another reason why you're being pushed over here because you have a mission. You're meant to do something. You're not meant to be partying with the devil. All right, so let's go. <laughs> What's the advice, guidance, and um, I don't know. What is it that Paltu is meant to hear today? All right, so maybe an uh, amateur lover. Maybe you were dealing with someone that was really amateur in love. All right, this is like immature in love. And so maybe this person abandoned you or you're abandoning them or something like that. And maybe you feel guilty or maybe they feel guilty. However it goes, you have new love coming. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what else Patsu needs to hear? Thank you. We have the 10 of cups in reverse. It's given family. All right. So there's some family, sh like family issues. I'm getting a broken family here. There could be like violence in a family or something like violent family members or really toxic family members. Yeah, Ten of Swords. All right, there could have been like a death or an ending or something like that. My condolences. I'm so sorry. We literally have Ten Ten, like Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords. Like, dag, something's ending and it's like the way it ends is just like really hurtful. All right, so this is hitting rock bottom. I'm getting something hits rock bottom. It's a struggle. What else Patsu needs to hear? Yeah, the four of cups in reverse. It happened for a reason, all right? Everything is divine. Everything has its order. Everybody has their time, you know? And I'm getting something happens and it, it pushes you to hit rock bottom so you could take another, another path. So you could take a different direction in life and choose happiness over family or over a group of people. It's like you're accepting something. You're accepting betrayal. Like, you know what? I was betrayed. I was hurt. I was backstabbed. This is a crisis. I'm accepting the fact that someone is no longer here. It's different for all of you. And, and for those who lost somebody, my condolences again. But I'm getting like something happens tragically. And it was God's plan. One, two, I'm getting this happen and you're being pushed in a new direction. Yeah, the Knights of Pentacles, you've been doing something for a minute, all right? You've been doing something or you were on some sort of path for a quite quite some time. This could be weeks, months, years. It's going to be different for all of you. Ace of Swords, that is the truth. Whatever you're leaving behind, you were doing it for a while, a long time, all right? Um, and it was like you put in a lot of hard work into this. Hmm. Okay. A family, a home, or a relationship is destroyed. It hits rock bottom. T take it how it resonates. Family, friendship, lovers, or um, colleagues, something like that. All right, something you've been doing for a while or some people you've been with for a while. It falls apart. It, get, it hits rock bottom. It's painful. It's a betrayal. There was betrayals. It was betrayals in this ending. So meaning like there was some sort of lies, trickery, or toxic behaviors that led to this ending here. Um, it pushes you in a new direction or you're being pushed in a new direction after this ending. And I'm getting that you're going to be going towards something for quite some time. You were in a situation for a while. It's giving routine. It's giving hard work. You doing something repetitively, or you um putting a lot of work and effort. You being cautious as well. Um, I'm getting that the truth is gonna come towards you. There's some sort of truth about a betrayal in the past that is gonna come towards you in the next couple of weeks or next couple of months. Don't sleep on it. I mean, like, not that. Well, I said don't sleep on it. All right, but don't like. Hold your breath for the truth, but the truth is coming is what the universe wants to tell you in regards to some sort of betrayal. It will be exposed because there was some sort of like, I don't know, something happened here. Something is being hidden right now, but it's going to come out. We have the sun. Yeah, it's being hidden. The sun in reverse is being hidden. Mm -hmm. The sun isn't up, meaning that it's dark, it's cloudy. All right, you're being pushed to work on your inner child. So you may, may have been abandoned by a mom or a dad or a parental figure or somebody significant, or you could have been abandoned from like a first love or something. There's something significant about your experience as a youngster and you experiencing abandonment. And 
whatever is happening right now it's kind of resurfacing it's not kind of it is it's resurfacing and it's meant to resurface these old wounds that you buried because the universe wants you to focus on them to get rid of them because they're still is giving like a burial like they're still buried and they need to go in order for you to evolve so i see you working on your inner child you may be feeling down right now or you could be feeling a little sad um, or this is people feeling this way as you're leaving, because I see you leaving. Some of y'all already left. Other, others of y'all are leaving within the next couple of days to weeks, okay? Or months. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go into charms. Damn, that was deep. 10, 10. You could be seeing the number 10 a lot. All right, charms. And then I'm going to give you some advice. All right, baby? I have to dig for the charm. So the this ain't Texas. <laughs> All right, we got the charm. Damn. All right, whatever. We'll take it. All right, let me put the bigger ones out here. Some of y'all may came. Y'all may have came from page. Uh, page pa one. All right. Some of y'all may have came from pa one for more clarity. That's for some. If you didn't go there, I'm not advising. I'm just saying for those who did, confirmation. Because I'm seeing something here. All right. Um, initials. Okay. We didn't get a lot, but all right, I'll take it. All right, so I'm going to show you the charms that are big enough in a second. But let me give you the initials first all right so first middle last initial could be yours could be somebody else's take it how it resonates we have z i k h i y x h i h q so something is about to become like high definition even though i don't have the d here but i'm, I'm getting that all right we have j s a u a it's giving me like AAU. Maybe somebody plays basketball or their child does. Um, maybe somebody's name is Justin, Jessica, Junior. Somebody could be a junior. IQ. All right, I'm getting somebody testing your intelligence. They want to see, like somebody wanted to see if you were slow, if you were going to pick up on something. They thought you were slow, but you're not. Yeah, they're poorly, poorly... Um, mistaken all right usa you, you could be from the usa because i do have international viewers all right so there's that i'm getting connecticut kentucky i'm hearing helen henry houston jamaica the caribbean arizona Kennedy, I'm hearing San Francisco, all right, so California, all right, let's, let's keep going, you have the Ace of Cups, <laughs> it's the Uno cards, maybe some of y'all love Uno, all right, this is the Ace of Cups, new love coming, you have a lot of new love coming, some of y'all could play soccer, volleyball, Zing. All right, we have the five of pentacles here. I'm getting um a recovery, all right? It's like you're recovering your heart. You're opening up your heart. Yeah, back to your card. Open up your heart. It says it right there. Open up your heart. You have no love coming. Mm -hmm. It's a recovery. Emotional recovery, love recovery is what it's giving. All right, we have one, two, three, three guns, okay? We have three guns, honey, I don't know if you can see it. We have three AKs or whatever these are. Um, three guns. All right, so there was like multiple shots fired. <laughs> Rude. All right, we got the little fishy here. The dead fishy. So something definitely died out. Yeah. But I'm getting the keys here. So something dies out and you gain access to a key. All right, this is the key of love. Yeah, you get the key of love. Yeah, you're fearless, so that's why. We have the letter O here, Oscar, October. 
Or Orlando, Omarion. All right, with the tea cup here, I'm getting a lot of tea. All right, it's giving like um, tea. It's giving a lot of people chatting, gossip. You have a cupcake, so somebody may like to bake. Patty cake, patty cake, ding na na. Something about childhood. Maybe this is in regarding childhood friends or your childhood. All right, we have the bat here, so I'm getting. You could be um, um. You could be a late bird. <laughs> yeah, confirmation. You could like to come out at night, or you like, or you're very active at night. What is that? Nocturnal. You could be like nocturnal. There's a bobo here, so I'm getting baby vibes. A baby could be significant, a child, a pregnancy. All right, we have Indiana here with the race car. Um, what year is this? 2002 could be significant. Somebody could race as far as cars go. I love my dog. You could love your dog. You could be like a dog mom, a dog dad, all right? There's a significant dog coming out here, all right? And then we have the book here, Hench. Who's it by? Natalie something, all right, so maybe you read this book, or maybe this book is significant one way or another, it's Hench, you may want to look it up, you may want to read that book, as far as money goes, we have a thousand, a thousand twenty-five, a thousand twenty-five, so that's ten twenty-five, October 25th could be significant, or January 25th could be significant, or that number could be significant, 1,025. All right, so we have Gemini, we have Virgo. She believed she could, so she did. So all you gotta do is believe in yourself. We got Pisces, okay? I'm getting a sister being relevant, specifically, like, I'm getting like a sister. Maybe you go to your sister to like, um, vent, cry, express yourself. This could be a best friend too. It doesn't have to be like a biological sister, but take that how it resonates. We have Anna Mae Wong. All right, so this is, who is Anna Mae Wong? I don't know, but she did something. She's on the quarter. All right, 2022. All right, so I don't know. We have an Anna Mae Wong here. Can you see it? I hope so. Anyway, um, take my word for it. So Anna Mae Wong, 2022, is giving Atlantic City. Um, yeah, because I got that quarter when I was in Atlantic City. <laughs> um, you're kind, you're free, you're true, you're brave, you're peaceful, you're happy. And somebody here is saying that so much of me is made from what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. So you are imprinted in someone's heart forever and ever, point blank period. You got the community card here, and it says here... Get out of jail free card. This card may be kept until needed or traded. All right, so the universe is giving you a get out of jail free card. So you could avoid some sort of imprisonments. All right, we have one peso here. Dominican Republic could be significant. 2022 is significant because we're literally getting 2022 a lot, okay? 2022 came out three times. All right, so who's this? Padre de la Patria. So that could be significant. The number one. Somebody could be from the Dominican Republic. January. Somebody could be born on the first. We have Princess Belle, all right, from um, Beauty and the Beast. All right, so there could be here. You could, have, you could be like Belle, regardless of sex, female or male. You could be like smart you like books you're into knowledge you like to read or you're like you know a bookworm like it's giving street smarts book smart is what it's giving um you may have felt fall in love with like a beast somebody that is like totally different from you this beast could have had you locked up or stuck or entrapped in one way or another all right, I feel like the universe put you in this beast's life so you could save his life so or her life because this person was about to lose themselves is what it's giving. But I'm getting you needing to be released from this because it could have projected back into your life. All right, so we have gum mentos. Somebody could really, really, really like this. Mentos. And then we have here 
Chewbacca from Star Wars. All right, somebody collect Chewbacca, Chewbacco, Chewbacca, <laughs> tobacco. All right, somebody collect tobacco. And then we have the Little Mermaid here, Ariel, the movie. So you may have watched The Little Mermaid with someone, or this movie could be relevant in one way or another. Is giving um un is giving like forbidden love, right? Because her father, King Triton, who is son to Poseidon, who is the king ruler of the ocean. So it's giving royalty, all right? So you could be royalty or somebody's royalty out here. Um, is giving that, you know, her father was against her being with a human. And with um, Eric's side, the human world, you know, they didn't know about the mermaids, you know, and then there's um, Ursula back here, the sea witch, who didn't want them to come together because she wanted to steal Ariel's gift and become the queen of the ocean. Like, she didn't even want Eric. She just wanted um, Ariel's power so that she could take over. It was about control. It was about power. All right, so there could have been like some sort of third party situation here. Somebody wanted to come between, um, there was like a dad or a mom that wanted to come between a relationship as well as a third party, um, a witch that wanted to come between a relationship too because of power. So for different reasons, people were like, a group of people could have been fighting to keep a, a couple out of love away from each other. Whoa. All right. We have Hershey's cookies and cream. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's giving toxic. Mm -hmm. Let's see what your advice is. <laughs> like, dang, the parents, the witch, the who, the hot, the what. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. When a lot of people come together to end something or stop something, especially a relationship, that says a lot. That says that the relationship is powerful or one or two of the people in that relationship have power. When people want people to stop growing and they see them with someone that has potential to help them grow or potential to get them out of some sort of toxic environment or lifestyle, other people that are toxic and don't want that person to grow or want that person to evolve, they will literally try to kick out the person that could help that person because they're one, envious, and two, they don't want that person to grow. All right, so there's something about that here. Hmm. All right, what's the advice? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I giggle a lot. What's the advice? What is that? I'm looking at the lake in my backyard. I don't know what that is. It's like this white thing in the middle of the lake. Could be a reflection. Anyway, what is the advice for... Didn't we talk about lakes, rivers, and you going to the sea? Yeah. What is the advice for Pautu? I got to walk my dog. Yeah. All right. We have here obsession. No amount of obsessing is going to make a situation better. Find a way to let go. All right. So there's something unhealthy. Maybe you've obsessed with fixing it or you obsessed with making it better. But no, the universe is saying you're not meant to make it better. You're meant to let it go. All right. Because it's not healthy. And then we have initial spark. Yeah. Again, with your spark, you're being sparked. <laughs> there is potential in a person or situation to develop into something in the future. How you approach it is up to you, all right? So there's going to be something coming through. You're going to be sparked, something new that has a lot of potential, but it's going to be on you whether, you know, you want it or not. It's going to be, especially the way you approach it. Yeah, the way you approach a situation is very vital, important. Whoa, is what the universe is saying. <laughs> all right. And then we have here, liberate yourself, the ocean, Okay. You don't have to carry your burdens alone. Have the courage to ask and accept help. All right, so closed mouths never get fed. All right, so the universe is saying have courage to open up, ask for help, have courage to, you know, um, ask for a helping hand. You don't got to go at it alone, all right, but you do need to liberate yourself. You do need to free yourself. We have path of mastery. You're stepping into a new expanded consciousness that you will soon master. Yeah, you're mastering something. It's coming. First, there's letting go. Then there's mastering. So if you already let go, good news, you're about to master. If you're letting go, good news, you're about to become a master. <laughs> and practice gratitude. 
You may be seeing feathers or white birds. This is going to be significant for you, baby. Practice gratitude. Take time to acknowledge what you're grateful for. All right. We got to count our blessings, not our losses. The way you think, your perspective, your thoughts are so important. If you're counting your losses versus your blessings, then you're going to gain more losses because the universe matches your frequency and matches your thoughts. So always count your blessings and be grateful for what you do have. Every day, say it out loud, 10 things that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for this camera. I'm grateful for this Wi-Fi. I'm grateful for my lake. I'm grateful for this house. I'm grateful for the dog. I'm grateful for my wheel. I'm grateful for my food. Like these are simple things, but they mean something. Without them, life would be different, right? So every day, put make a list of 10 things and say them out loud what you're grateful for. And best to believe that more blessings will be coming your way. Point blank, period. All right. So listen, Patu, I love you. I hope you caught a vibe with me here today. If you haven't already, what you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that bell button. Okay. Become part of the family and let me know how you felt in the comments. My OGs, my babies, you already know what time it is. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I'm sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. Let me know how you felt about the reading as well. I want to know what everybody felt. Let's vibe in the comments. I'll be there. I promise. Mwah. Deuces. <laughs> Hello there. How you doing, pal three? If you chose the waterfall, then you're at your reading. Blaze. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Let's tap in. Bless. All right. So a shower did pass during the recordings, but your reading is while the skies are literally blue and the sun is out shining, boo-boo, mm, signs. This is my protection mist. I use it every time before reading to protect us from any negativity and or interferences because we can't have that. No. And I sell that on my shop, link down below, along with other um, different type of mist. Something's up on my left eye. All right, so you're going to be seeing something. Okay, I don't know. It's giving left eye. Lisa left eye. Lopez, what's her name? Lisa Lopez or Le left eye Lopez? Oh, I don't know. Left eye from TLC is what it's giving. It's giving waterfalls. Oh my God, we got to do it. We got to do it. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Damn, I got goosebumps. All right, listen to the... Let me see what it says. I don't even remember. That's old school. All right, so if you know, you know. If you don't know, you need to tap in. Okay, go listen to TLC Waterfalls. All right, TLC Waterfalls. And then I'll give you your angel number, of course, and we'll tap in. Okay, so it goes... Um, so this is your song. I'm not even going to use... I was going to use for you... Like I did, part one and two, my music oracle deck. Okay, volume three, available on my shop. 25% off everything. But your song came through. Like, I'm getting my eye, my left eye went off. You got waterfalls. They have a song called Waterfalls. It's a connection, okay? It's a connection. Okay, so it says here, a lonely mother gazing out in the window. Crazy. I was just looking at the window and telling you the weather. OMG, it's connecting. Okay. Relax, Jalissa, relax. Okay. A lonely mother gazing out the window, staring at her son that she just can't touch. If any, if at any time he's in a jam, she'll be by his side. But he doesn't realize he hurts her so much. But all the praying just ain't helping at all because he can't seem to keep himself out of trouble. So he goes out and he makes his money the best way he knows how. Another body laying cold in the gutter. Listen to me. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. I know that you're going to have it your way or nothing at all, but I think you're moving too fast. Little Precious has a natural obsession. Damn, sorry for that. <laughs> Somebody liked one of my products. All right. Little Precious has a natural obsession for temptation, but he just can't see. She gives him loving that his body can't handle, 
but all he can say is baby is too good to me. One day he goes and takes a glimpse in the mirror, but he doesn't recognize his own face. His health is fading and he doesn't know why. Three letters took him to his final resting place. Y'all don't hear me. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. I know you're going to have it your way or nothing at all, but I think you're moving too fast. So the first one is about a hustler. The second one is about somebody not using protection with sex and catching the three letter word that takes you down, you know, the irreversible STD. Now, um, ah, come on. I seen a rainbow yesterday, but too many storms have come and joined, leaving a trace of not one God giving ray. Is it because my life is 10 shades of gray? I pray all then shade away. Seldom pray him for the sunny days. And like his promise is true, only a only my faith can undo. The only chances I blew to bring my life to a new. Clear and blue and unconditional. Skies have dried the tears from my eyes. No more lonely cries. My only bleeding hope is for the folk who can't cope. With such an enduring pain that it keeps them in the pouring rain. Who's to blame for tooting cane into your own vein? What's a shame? A shot? Blah, blah. What's a shame you shot and aim for someone else's brain? Damn, brain. You claim the insane and ain't this day and time for falling. Pray to crime, I say the system got you victim to your own mind. Dreams are hopeless. Aspirations in hopes of coming true. Believe in yourself. The rest is up to me and you. Don't go chasing waterfalls. That one's about somebody like um, being um, a gangster and shooting someone else, unfortunately. So... It goes on and on and on, but you got to listen to that song. It's about people making mistakes due to their upbringing, due to like conditioning, programs, things we're taught growing up to be a certain way, do a certain thing, what we're used to, you know, and sticking to that, even though it's unhealthy. And then unfortunately falling into adversity, you know, falling into what's unhealthy in a sense so don't go chasing waterfalls don't do don't go chasing people places and things that you know are unhealthy all right drugs um alcohol like you know it's it's okay to like drink but don't abuse it you know like don't go chasing things that are just unhealthy is basically the message pile three all right there's a reason for this message coming through okay now let's get it let's go um, let me know what you take away from that song, all right? In the comments below. Thank you. All right, Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 3. Thank you very much. What is the angel number for Pal 3? That was fast. I've never, I never got a song that fast. I mean, maybe I have. I don't remember, though. All right, we have 831. All right, 831. Is there an August 31st? I don't even know. All right, if there is, that's significant, okay? But um, your angel number is 831. Go to your search engine, put in 831 angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. Now, if we calculate that, that is giving us 12. Yeah, yeah. And then that's three. So it's giving friends, family, all right, celebrations. Don't go chasing waterfalls. You have a lot that's coming in for you to celebrate, okay? A new life. Have faith, pray. Know that the universe got your back. Mm hmm. Big message for you, Pal 3. Wow. All right, so with the waterfalls here, it says inner power, confidence, and claiming your place. All right, so this is all about you, claiming you, claiming your place in this beautiful world, okay? Having confidence to claim your place and to claim who you are. Listen, I am who I am. I do what I do. I like what I like. I am what I want to be. I, I'm getting um, Nas. I know I am. I know I am. What song is that? All right, let me see. I don't know. You're getting a lot of songs. Are you an artist or something? Um, 5.33 on the clock right now, and it's March 3rd, all right? So that's 3.33 right there. All right, I know I am, I know I am. Be what I want to be. 
Nas, be what I want to be. What's the name of that song? It's called, it's called I Can. I know I can. And it goes, I know I can be what I want to be if I work hard at it. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. I know I'll be where I want to be. All right. So if you work hard and you stay focused, you'll be where you want to be. All right. It's about having confidence. I know I can. I know I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, if I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. I'll be where I want to be. Na, 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 na. Somebody could be from New York. Nas is from New York, right? I believe so. <laughs> na, 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 na. That's sad. I should know that. <laughs> I love Nas, though. I grew up with Nas. All right. What is the message for Pile 3 here with me today, Spirit? Thank you. All right, so you have a change in the wind, number 12, which that was what I got with your angel number. One and two equals three. Because if you add that up, eight plus three is 11 plus one is 12. And you got there, the number 12, change in the wind. All right, so I feel like your angel message is going to be about this, about you having some sort of change in your life. Something's coming. There's this wind that's going to change things up for you, baby. Something about north or south. Maybe you're going north. Maybe you're going south. All right. But there's a change in the wind. Zebras could be significant. White and black. Something about um, diversity. Somebody could be biracial. All right. We have the number 11 here by the book. All right. So this is about, you know, following the laws of the universe. We'll talk about that in a second. It's about family, friends, those, those type of matters. All right. So there's change with family. There's change with... Um, your journey. All right, one more for pile three. Number 34, a leg up. All right, so the universe is supporting you mm -hmm, with the leg up being here. And back of the deck, we have number seven to the sea. You're being guided somewhere is what I'm getting. All right, we're going to go to the book anyway, just to, you know, get the meaning behind the cards because that's something I've been wanting to do and I'm going to do it. I mean, I've been using these cards for years, but I don't know. I just been pulled to go to the book. So there's something here about books and you do have by the book number 11, which we're going to tap into. But I do feel like right now, especially with number seven to the C is all about you being in your own bubble. So you can hear the messages from the universe and see where you're going next you have blessed underneath that number 22 all right with abandoned number five under there some you you may have experienced some sort of loss this could be with a family member a friend a lover all right i'm getting you being redirected so let's see what 12 is i haven't gotten 12 yet so you're getting 12 for the first time all right with 12 here a change in the wind a sense that unseen change has been initiated. Prepare, preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the wind will blow. It's a human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. Want the world to remain consistent like a zebra's stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white. Nor will anything remain statistic. All right. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on a shifting wind. The unknown is where the magic lies. All right, so you may not know what's next or you may not know what to expect next is what it's giving. It's giving a storm. So it's giving something coming in, kind of rocking your foundation, shaking things up. So you could be going through a storm right now. Something happened 
it, it got you a little shaken up or it disturbed your peace. It got you out the comfort zone is what it's giving or it's waking you up to get out of the comfort zone, which is uncomfortable, but it's happening for you, not to you, so that you can grow, so that you can change directions because life is not black and white, all right? So I'm getting that right now, life could be black and white for you, but you're meant to be in a colorful world. So you're being awakened to something here. And so the universe wants change for you, meaning you need change. And so through disturbance, you're actually witnessing a miracle, magic. And you are magical, pal three, point blank period. All right. So it's what it's giving. And as far as 11 by the book, abiding, blah, 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 abiding, <laughs> abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, universal laws. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provide a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, and the law of compensation and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even evolution has its place in universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and governed behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that humanity is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them. Rather than being the rebel and floating them, my eye went off. I guess that's, that's the, the song right there, Waterfalls, okay? Um, when this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws, and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. All right, so you're being guided like, I don't know, what are you doing, Padre? <laughs> All right, there's something here about... Either this is you or someone in your life, but there's something here about someone like um, not doing something the right way. So the universe is shaking up the block. All right. So that you could rewrite things and follow the rules, the universal laws as above. So below, if you conflict harm, you will be harmed in return. If you're doing bad things, bad things will come back in return. There's some if you're doing great things, great things will come back in return. All right. So there's something here about what you sow, you reap, okay? So if you're sowing good and you're sowing positivity, then you're going to reap that. If you're sowing harm or you're sowing negativity, toxicity, then you're going to reap that too, all right? So what you put out there, you get back. And so the universe is like basically letting you know this right now, Pal 3, like you reap what you sow. So if you're putting all this goodness out there, you're going to get the goodness back. If you're putting a lot of bad out there and you're going against the rules of humanity, then you're going to get that bad back in return. There's a wind coming, a storm coming. All right. So either it's bringing good or it's bringing bad, depending on what you've been doing. If you've been going against the grain and doing some, you know, toxic things, you know, because we we not all, you know, perfect and polished. All right. Your girl used to be a bad girl once upon a time. All right. And you learn from your mistakes. So I'm getting you learning from mistakes. And I'm getting that for those who are like walking that fine line and respecting the universal laws, you about to reap a whole lot. And I feel like that's the message, especially with 34 here, leg up. This is talking about the universe sending somebody to help you. All right. So somebody's going to help you through this storm all right so there's some sort of storm here because things haven't been you know going the right way but you're being redirected and someone is significant this could be a friend this could be a new person you meet this could be a family member but someone is de is designated to help you out of a situation out of a storm so the universe wants you to know that it's all good sometimes we get lost sometimes we are brought up 
in unhealthy ways and it's our conditioning it's our program that puts us in situations that aren't favorable but we learn out of the situation we break the pattern we break the chain you know it's giving like ancestral curses and those are passed on and someone in the family got to break the chain right and i'm getting you breaking the chain pal three all right you recognizing unhealthy patterns and learning the universal laws so that you can reap good karma all right so you're getting good coming back right now because there's big change coming because someone's about to come help you and i feel like you need to isolate yourself if you're not isolated already with go to the sea okay you're blessed ultimately you're blessed okay i'm getting you just learning about how to remove conditioning remove the program the matrix all right the matrix is the program what we're programmed to think what we're programmed to believe, what we're programmed to know, what we're limited to growing up as the program. Our parents are programmed. So we can't can't blame them for programming us because they are in the program and they're just following the program and then programming us and just teaching us what they know best. But it's our duty in our journey to break free from the program because we know it's not healthy. We know it's not right. We know we deserve better. And in order to have better, we got to do better so there's a big message here about don't chase waterfalls you know what's right you know what's wrong if you want good you gotta sow the good all right and what to the sea here is giving you um going somewhere let's see being in the flow returning to source returning to the divine returning to god all right recognizing how pieces fit together a natural pattern of events Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. All right, listen, you are you don't got to do nothing, okay? I feel like you're good. I feel like you have recognized the waterfalls, right? You're not chasing the waterfalls. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. And right now, it's all about you just recognizing that. you recognizing that there was a program. There was a condition. And you're removing yourself from the program and the condition. And you're reprogramming yourself to understand that you are the creator of your world. It's you. And so as you acknowledge that you're the creator of your world, not only are you parting ways with programs thought processes, conditions that don't serve you, but also you're embracing your alchemy. You're embracing how magical you are and that you are not, um, you know, like it's giving like, um, you're not going to be another one. Okay. It's giving that you're not going to be a stereotype. You're not meant to be a stereotype. You're not meant to be like everyone else. You're meant to stand out. You're meant to break patterns. You're meant to go against the grain in a healthy way. So that way you don't chase waterfalls. That way you don't get the short end of the stick. That way you get to blossom and expand beyond your ancestors. And not that you know you're shitting on anybody, but your ancestors are happy you're doing this. That's what's being pulled here. What I'm getting is that you're coming to some sort of acknowledgement of the laws of the universe and you're abiding with the laws of the universe and because of that you are creating a path for yourself you are alchemizing your future and your future is nonetheless blessed and this is all happening because of an abandonment all right so you could have been abandoned at the altar you could have been abandoned at a relationship you could have been abandoned by family members you could have been abandoned by friends you could have been outcasted you could have been removed or whatever you know we all go through it we all have loss everybody i don't care who you are you've experienced some sort of form of loss and i'm getting loss is here i've experienced loss we all experience loss loss is such a painful you know experience and feeling but nonetheless it makes us and pushes us to value the good and what we have so i'm getting through pain you're elevating that was that was deep all right through pain you're elevating that's your message all right let's go further though <laughs> let's go further all right and then we're gonna get initial charms and advice of course um 
But listen to Waterfalls by TLC and listen to I Can by Naz. I'm probably saying it wrong. Naz, Naz, Naz. All right, Naz. N-A-S. I know I can, I know I can be what I want to be, be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, if I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. I'll be where I want to be. <laughs> it's a vibe. And in that video, he had a bunch of kids singing. All right. So this is about your childhood. This is about um trauma, childhood trauma. This is about your upbringing. You recognizing that you can, all right? Maybe you were told you can't. Maybe you were told that you wouldn't. Maybe you were told that you were limited. There was a glass ceiling above you and you wouldn't be able to reach the sky, the stars. That was bullshit. That was a, that was a program, a pattern that is being broken by who? By you. Mm. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, what else Pop 3 needs to hear and know right now? Thank you. I went through this, so listen, I'm speaking from experience, okay? <laughs> I'm speaking from experience, and also intuitively, I'm channeling that, of course. All right, so what else Pop 3 needs to hear? Thank you, Arm. Wait, bah, that, that flew fast. All right, so we have the Hierophant. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Pen the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Swords, and back of the deck we have the King of Swords. A lot of people here, okay? We have at least four people here. Well, yeah, three to four people here. All right, so we are getting Taurus, of course. We also have Capricorn. We have here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius, more Capricorn, a lot of Capricorn. Taurus and Gemini coming out the strongest. Libra, a little, a little bit of Libra, a little bit of it. Yeah, confirmation on my phone. A little bit of Libra, okay? There's something here about family, tradition, religion, society. Um, you're going to be mentored is what I'm getting. Like, you're going to be connecting with a mentor. Like I said, with the leg up. The universe is sending someone towards you to help you, to level you up, okay? You got to be open to the experience, though, because I'm seeing that um, it's coming in during a time of vulnerability, okay? I see confirmation. I see you protecting yourself, and I see that you are overspending stop spending money <laughs> okay save your money okay right now you're being told to save your money it's all about tradition in a sense is well not really tradition is all about integrity all right so i see here right now it's all about self-respect self-confidence i'm getting you're introverted you don't really like to mix and mingle even though you're very popular because i see it you're very popular you're very good looking you're very intuitive um but you're introverted you like to be by yourself you enjoy your peace you enjoy your alone time um i'm getting that you know you may have a jealous thing going on where <laughs> with partners you may get a little jealous okay that's my man that's my girl okay it's cool i feel feel you i got it all right um i see you holding on you're holding on to something here yeah mm -hmm. but you're not happy so why are you holding on to it is what the universe is asking you here today i mean it knows it knows but it's asking you basically like homework your homework pal three is what are you holding on to and why because it's clear that this situation this person whatever it is you're holding on to here it lowers your vibration. It puts you in a shadow energy. It puts you to do things or participate in things that are not healthy for you. Um, it also like um, pushes you to possibly spend money you're not supposed to spend. I don't know. Take that how it resonates. Maybe you overspend with this person or you're spending money that you shouldn't be spending. There's something here about a commitment, maybe a marriage or this is just commitment to family, friends, or uh, a corporation, a business. I'm getting you not happy and feeling stuck. Like you're working on something or you're, you're holding on to something, right, is what I'm getting. And you want to work towards something or you want to, or you feel like you worked towards this. That's why you're not letting go. All right. So there's this, some there's something here or someone you're holding on to and you're holding on to it because 
you put in that work, you invested, you put in time, money, effort, emotion into whatever this is, right? And you're not letting it go, even though you know it's not healthy for you, because you put in that time, effort, and emotion and money into it. So it's kind of stubborn. <laughs> you're being a little stubborn, but I get it. You have your reasons. You not, you have your reasons. I see why you're holding on. I get it. But is it worth it? Is giving is the juice worth the squeeze? Because it's not giving. It's giving you squeezing, squeezing, squeezing something. But the juice is like, first of all, it's not enough juice. And second of all, it's not even sweet. All right. It's bitter. It's agrio. It's like... um confirmation so that means in spanish sour all right so you're squeezing something you're expecting it to be sweet but it comes out sour but because you invested in it you're not letting it go and the universe is saying whether you know this consciously or this is just subconsciously however it goes all right i'm just a messenger okay the universe wants you to um acknowledge why why this is the waterfall you may be holding on to something that isn't benefiting you or isn't serving you and you're just going towards the waterfall like you know it's gonna make you cry you know it's gonna hurt you yes you invested in it but is it worth crying over is it worth being in pain over and that's what the universe is asking you here today um yeah there's a commitment but what are you committed to you should be committed to yourself first before you're committed to an other okay because we do commit to business to lovers to family to contracts you know and if the contract or the benefit, you know, the commitment isn't benefiting you and it's hurting you, it's it's breaking you down or it's bringing you down, is it worth keeping? You know, we could break contracts. We could detach from contracts, you know, so I'm getting that. And so right now, you're being told to make head over heart decisions. Be honest with yourself. Be clear with yourself. All right. There's someone here that just isn't healthy. And so the universe doesn't want you to hold on anymore, but this is your journey. So you have to make that decision. You know, this is your life. It's on you. So I'm seeing a storm here because somebody brings you the storm. This is the waterfall. This person who's for the streets. All right. This person is like, whether they're your friend or your lover or whoever, a family member, this person's for the streets. This person only cares about themselves and so you're being pushed to care about you and focus on you because this person is literally putting themselves before you but you're putting them before yourself because you're choosing them instead of choosing yourself and that was that was deep that was pretty deep my ears going off i see you're not happy you're bored you feel stuck but there's something here about some about you wanting something to be perfect. So if this could be about your perspective or your image, like maybe you don't want to let go because you feel like you don't want to, you know, lose. I don't know. There's something here about like you feeling like you created it. So you got to hold on to it or something like that. Take it how it resonates, sweetheart. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But right now, what the universe is saying is um, obey the universal laws. You will reap what you sow. So make sure you sow in good stuff, right? Um, if you have someone negative around you who is persuading you or or pressuring you or um, peer pressuring you to do things you know are not healthy, um, just know you reap what you sow. So if this person is in your energy, they're bringing you karma. They're bringing you the storm. So it's not even your storm, it's their storm. But since you're with them, you're going to get the storm too. And I see arguments here. I see somebody talking fast. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> What's that about? All right. Yeah. Somebody's going to come clean. Somebody's lying, stealing, cheating. I don't know what this person's doing. But I'm I'm getting that it, they're going to come clean here. And I feel like you will make a decision and you're going to choose yourself because that's ultimately what you need to do here. Um, As far as the universal advice, you're blessed. And I'm getting that somebody else is raining on your parade. And because you care about this person or you invested or you know them for a minute or, you know, maybe your family, you know, it's you know, it's not right. Because I see you arguing with them and I see you saying something to them. You're, you're telling them they're greedy. You're telling them they're stingy. You're telling them they're possessive of you or they won't let you go. There's some sort of argument here about that. You're telling them about their money. 
There, there's just a lot going on here. So listen, if this is not resonating with you, maybe one or two was for you, but this is like really specific and it's it's giving deep. All right, let's go to the charms. Let's see what the charms have to give, okay? But I do see change, but it comes with you. You deciding what you want, where you want to be. All right, charms. What are the charms for Patri? Damn, we digging deep. All right. <laughs> Got it. Got it. The Little Mermaid came out for everybody here today. Dang, Little Mermaid's popular today. Okay, let me get some initials. Yeah, she came out for one, two, and now three. In different forms. It's crazy. If you go to the charms for one and two, you'll see it's a different form of the Little Mermaid. All right. Initials for part three. I know I can, I know I can be what I want to be, be what I want to be. All right. First, middle, last initial could be yours, could be somebody else's, could be theirs, however it goes. All right, we have A-R, L-S. Who that? Z-O, something about ounces, I-G, Instagram. G-N, C-N, A-A, -A. I know I can, it says it here, can. All right, it also says gangs. This could be like a gang, maybe a group, you know, a group is a gang, all right? I don't know, a gang could be significant. There's a ring here too, commitment to a gang, a group. Confirmation on my phone. P-E, E-U. Somebody's name could be Pee Wee. F A V. You're somebody's favorite. Pave. You're paving the way for people. You will be their favorite. Something about you being people's favorite. I'm hearing ring, 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 ring. You don't hit my line no more. No, no. You don't make it ring, 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 ring. Ooh. <laughs> That's the Cardi B ring. That could be significant. All right, but you paving the way for others. You will be their favorite. I don't know. You somebody's favorite out here. It's giving the people. C-E-I. Yeah. Cave. You're coming out your cave. J-S. S-M. W-O-C-U. I see you. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> um, all right. I'm getting Rodney, Ralph, Lauren, <laughs> Stacy, Stephanie, Francis, Francisco, Sherry, Uni, Sue, Catherine, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Susie, Wanda, Wonka, I don't know, okay. You don't hit my line no more, oh, oh, you don't make it ring, 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 ring. All right, so what we got over here as far as baby tarot goes, we have 55. All right, so we have the five of swords and the five of pentacles in reverse. Five of swords upright, five of pentacles in reverse. All right, so it's giving conflict. All right, so there's like a um, battle of the minds here. Somebody could be 55. 55 is a turbulent number. All right, this is speaking about battles. This is speaking about lies, deception, mm, confirmation. This is this is speaking about somebody lying because they don't want to lose, um, battling so there's no winners. There's like no winners here is what it's giving me. Yeah, I'm getting somebody's lying out here. Brutally lying. Like these are brutal lies. This is not like, oh yeah. Um, I don't know, what's a what's a white lie? <laughs> I loved your food. <laughs> you know, like that's a white lie. I mean, you didn't really like the food. Um, these are brutal lies. These are like lies with identity, lies with like 
love lies with like what you're doing like there's a lot of lies here you're gonna recover is what is giving you're recovering from this all right some of you guys already went through this others of you are recovering from this or you're about to recover from this others of you are recovering take it how it resonates but 55 is here significant all right um chinese soda chinese soda could be significant all right. I don't know if it's like, yeah, Chinese soda. Okay. I think that's Chinese. I don't even know. You got the Hench book. All right. This is a book. It's called Hench. It's by Natalie. All right. Somebody's name could be Natalie. Okay. And then we have a lot of books here and you got by the book. All right. So it's time for you to do your homework about the universal laws and how things work. You know what I'm hearing? Like What by Cardi B. And there's a part in that song. Maybe you heard it. Maybe you're not. It's a new song for Cardi B. Check it out. Like What. And in that song, she said, your life is so trash that you thought I put a hex on you. All right. So maybe somebody's blaming you for their life and their complications. They think that you put a hex on them or vice versa. I don't know. Take that how that resonates. Or you may feel like somebody put a hex on you. I don't know, but I'm not getting a hex here. I'm getting karma for someone else, depending on what you're sowing out here, you know, but I'm getting karma and it's not for you. It's not giving alchemy. It's giving the universe. All right. Um, we have happy zoo. All right. So something about the zoo, the zoo could be significant children. We have the monster at the end of the book all right this is sesame street something about the streets the monster at the end of the book happy zoo all right maybe somebody likes animals and then we have jaws this is karmics all right so there's a karmic out here talking about you did um a hex to their life but they're just really reaping karma all right with jaws the reason i say karmic because i see sharks as karmics okay um I'm getting somebody watching from afar, below you. You need to protect your energy, protect yourself, okay? Yeah, because somebody wants to eat you. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I just laugh when I'm nervous. All right, so 25 could be significant. We got $25 here. That's the amount of money we got for you. All right, so 25th, maybe Christmas, the holidays, or that could be significant. And every hair from my hair some lines declines i don't know that's from like a movie or something guys if you know let me know in the comments again and every hair from hair some lines declines it's from a movie all right we have spiral graph all right somebody could be an artist you're being guided to pick up a hobby whether that's like crisscross words spiral graphs or something art so that way um you could distract your mind from anything negative. We have Tokyo Lewis. Somebody's name could be Lewis. Somebody could be from Tokyo. 2021 could be significant. I believe this is wine. Okay. And then we have here Roman noodle soup, basically. It's from Itsu. Roman noodle, noodle soup. All right, so maybe somebody's eating ramens. Ramen noodle soup. Somebody loves that. All right, we have Ariel from The Little Mermaid. So Ariel was different from her family, and I feel like you're different from your family, Pal 3. Ariel kind of went against the grain for her own happiness, though. She wasn't trying to harm nobody. She just wanted what she wanted. She wanted to walk. She didn't want to swim, but she was born into the marine kingdom. And so her dad was upset with her because she was supposed to be like a prodigy. She was supposed to be like the next one up, you know, because she had a beautiful voice, you know? So there's something here about parental figures. Maybe this is a mom we're talking about here, a father or a family member or something like that. 
there's something here about parental figure and so her father for a minute there was rude was mean was angry because she was going against the grain she didn't want to be a mermaid she didn't want to be part of the marine kingdom she didn't care to be queen of the ocean she just wanted to walk on land and she wanted to dance with the humans and understand what forks did or whatever her squirk you know you remember the scene with the fork in the hair like she had her own dreams and she wanted to follow that so her dad was against that and if if you watched the movie you saw like there was a big kabang you know because of that she disappeared she ran away and she got herself into trouble because she did a deal with an evil witch from the ocean that had a plot the whole time so there's something here about some sort of evil witch plotting on yo energy or your gift or i don't know take that how it resonates all right but um I'm getting somebody knew what they were doing, regardless of alchemy, magic or not. Somebody knew what they were doing. Somebody was definitely plotting, Pal 3. And the reason they were plotting was because they wanted to take your throne. It's not about love. It's about status. It's about reputation. Because Ursula didn't want Ariel's man. She didn't want to take her away. This is like someone basically wanting to dethrone another person. So the goal was to bring someone down and use them as a stepping stone so that they can climb up and have a better status or a better image or whatever. And I'm getting it fails. So there's like a failure here. We have Roman lettuce, okay? Roman lettuce. Salads could be significant. Maybe you love Roman lettuce. We have a gate here. It's giving a picket fence type of life, all right? People always dream about having the picket fence life. A lot of people do, you know, the house, the cars, the kids, the marriage, you know, the white gay, the pool in the backyard, the driveway, the basketball hoop, all that stuff. You know, so I'm getting that you need to create boundaries so you can have this life. Or if you already have it, you need to set boundaries so you could protect it. Mm -hmm. And then we have MF. So these initials could be significant. MF. But there's a purse here. So maybe somebody's fancy with it. Somebody has like a fancy purse. Okay, it's giving. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, so let's get some advice. That's that. You don't hit my line no more. No, no. <sighs> All right. Advice for pile three. Advice for Pal 3. Thank you. We have love your work. You are extremely intelligent, Pal 3. Do you love what you're doing? Because it says here, ask yourself today if what you're doing is truly making you happy. Like, is work making you happy? Because it's really important to love what you're doing so that way you don't feel like you're working a day in your life. All right, so the universe is asking you, do you love what you're doing for work? There's a reason for that. All right. If you do, bless. If you don't, then maybe there's changes that are required so that you could be happier at work. We have set boundaries. I told you, set boundaries. You need to protect your happiness, protect your peace. All right. Set boundaries. Setting boundaries in your life is a great way to put yourself first. All right. So you need to put yourself first, set boundaries. You could be creative. You could be an artist with all the markers confirmation some of you guys work online um i'm getting a lot of people watching you or you working with a lot of people or you interact with a lot of people use discernment lie truth see things for what they really are not for what you want them to be all right don't deceive yourself don't lie to yourself see a situation for what it truly is don't see it for what you want it to be. Now, I did this a lot in my life, all right? <laughs> Guilty. I would go into, like, relationships specifically. Like, even friendships, honestly. Like, I had a friendship for, like, many years. And I had a lot of wishful thinking with that friend. And I, I saw her for what I wanted to see her as, not for who she was. And because of that... A whole lot of drama happened in my life and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, relationships too. I would see the potential in someone. And because of that, plus chemistry and love, you know, I would stick around and try to help that person like a project, you know, and I learned through these relationships that 
People are not meant to be your projects. They're not meant to be your assignments. They're meant to coexist with you. They're meant to reciprocate the energy you give them. I learned this the hard way, confirmation. And I'm getting that you're learning this or you are you just learned this. Where, you know, it's not how we see people or how we want to see people. It's what's black and what's white. Like, what is it? A pear is a pear. We can't magically turn it into a watermelon. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and, and not to associate it with color, black and white, but it's giving that the universe wants you to start seeing people, places and things for what it truly is and not for what it can be. All right. Because that's what's um, bringing your energy down. You don't need anyone else. Realize you don't need anyone else but yourself to survive, to be happy, or to fix you. Embrace a new level of independence. Right now, it's all about you being independent, Pal 3. Right now, it's all about you embracing you and you acknowledging that you don't need no one. You, you, just, you just need you. You got you. You just need your connection to source, your connection to the moon. That's all you need. You don't need nobody to fix you. You don't need nobody to survive. You don't need nobody, Patri. That's your message from the universe. You got you. And that's what the universe wants you to realize. Mm. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. You got this, baby. You blessed. Remember. You're blessed. Right now, your biggest message was it's time for you to step into this confident energy, all right? Because you're the waterfall. We're not chasing waterfalls. We are the waterfall, honey, okay? It's about your inner power. It's about your confidence. And it's about you claiming your peace, your power in this experience, in this life. Bless. <laughs> All right, Pal 3, if you haven't already, do subscribe, hit that bell button, let me know how you felt in the comments, thank you so much, bless, um, my OGs, I love y'all so much, I really do, you got this sis, you got this bro, you already know, this is just the next step, the next step, slab. <laughs> the next step, all right, let people sleep on you, it's okay, you're about to level up, point blank, period. I love y'all so much, and I'm sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. See you in the next one. Deuces. Bless.